What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Cool Colas here, and you are tuning in to the very first episode of the Pro Black Blurred Kingdom Podcast. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to talk to you all today about what my podcast is about, what you can expect, and some of the things that um, you know I may be discussing as I do different episodes of this podcast. So, first of all, before we get into that, let's give a little bit of an introduction of a couple things that, terminology-wise, others might not understand. So, starting with Blurred. I've gotten, before on Instagram, a couple times people have like reached out to me and, and asked me, what does Blurred mean? Well, Blurred is actually taking the word black and nerd and combining it into one word, therefore making the word Blurred. So... The blurred culture is a whole different culture than white nerd culture. And because of that, it needs to be specified as such. So when we think of blurreds, we think of the way that black nerds identify with uh, their interests. And a lot of times those interests are in what we would consider nerdy things, such as anime, such as comic books, such as um, other forms of geekdom that, you know, a lot of uh, nerds resonate with. So that's what a blurred is. Now, when I say pro-black, I think that that needs heavy definition. The reason why I say that is because too often in our society, at this point in our society, we take words and they have a certain meaning to them and then we put our own spin on what exactly that means and it ends up coming out differently than the way the term suggests. So, when I say pro-black, what I, what I mean, not anybody else, because I know there's a lot of people in the conscious community who have had issues with the term pro-black because it sounds like a trick word. What I mean by pro-black is I put myself being black first. I put black people first. I put the needs of black people first. And I put the needs of black people only up until they are served properly. So for me, I am pro-black because my priority is to create and speak and talk for speak and talk are the same thing. I don't even know why I said speak and talk to create and speak for the benefit of black people. So that's really what my goal is in a way, you know, when you think about what a writer does, which I cool call us, I'm a writer, a comic creator, brand creator, game creator, etc. The purpose of a creator is to entertain and also to educate at the same time. But everybody has their different way of doing that. So when you're telling stories, essentially, you're kind of doing that for whoever your audience is. So in a way, I see myself as an educator. I see myself who can help to uh, push messages onto my own people in a way that is beneficial and also empowering. So when I think of pro-black, that is the term that uh, that is that is the definition of the term that comes to mind for what I am doing. So I feel that everything that I say, do, and create is in the best interest of black people in black culture. So again, for some people that may still find, seem a little bit um, broad, but that's why you need to check out my content. So you can see all the things that I'm going to be talking about, all the issues that I'm going to be tackling. And a lot of times they're not going to be just mainstream things that everybody knows about or everybody is talking about. I'm going to give you a lot of different takes because I have a certain way that I think about things that tends to be a little bit different than um, the usual person. So for me, like I give a lot of um, interesting perspectives on situations that isn't necessarily group talk or group think. And so I think that uh, as as you listen to this podcast, you'll kind of get that from me and the way that I break things down and the way that I speak about, you know, topics and again, and issues that exist in the black community and in black culture. So you got pro black, you got blurred. So now you understand why I'm calling myself the pro black blurred. So where am I getting king from? Y'all all know what a king is. So I don't have to tell you what it means. I ain't trying to insult y'all's intelligence because I'm pretty sure if you're listening to this podcast right now, you're probably a pretty damn intelligent person. Let's be real. <laughs> but at the same time, 
Understand that when I call myself a king, it is because I see myself as royalty. I see myself as a powerful individual. And that power is within me because of my melanin. That power is within me because I'm a black man. I'm a black American man. So when I say king, I think of myself as um, a high functioning being. And I speak those things into existence about myself. So that is why I call myself the pro-black blur king. Now, why is this called the pro-black blur kingdom podcast? Well, because this is my kingdom here. My area, my safe space, and my domain in which I speak about things, topics, etc. that deal with our people, with royalty. But also, I'm converging two worlds. So when you step into my space, my kingdom, you're hearing a lot of different topics. So some of my topics may be related to, you know, nerdy things. Looking at the blurred side, which that includes... Uh, me maybe talking about different shows I may have watched, me uh, hyper analyzing or psycho, I'm not even hyper analyzing, psycho analyzing different issues that exist, you know, when it comes to blurred culture and how we are, uh, how as black people we're affected or how we're demeaned or like some of the th- problems that I see. And essentially all of this is leading into my brand, which is the Cool Colas brand. The Cool Colas brand strives to uh, show individuals individuals why my product is going to be beneficial for black people and that means black children and then for the entertainment of other black people who have the same interests it's the same creative interests so specifically this is targeted to creative black people specifically creative black males even is what i would say um and inspiring them to see the kinship in their own self so um a lot of my topics are going to be blurred centric And that's going to be one part of it. But then there are also going to be a lot of pro-black topics and informative topics that I'm going to speak about that persist in the black community and that need coverage and that need, uh, you know, a perspective that typically is not shared. And that's for whatever reason. Sometimes people, they don't want to share, you know, their their opinions on things because they feel like... um, they're afraid to just offend people or they have a job and their job is like looking at them and they don't want to say anything that's going to get them fired because they need the coins or they are, um, you know, just, uh, just afraid that their friends and family, et cetera, is just not going to accept them anymore because of their beliefs and the things that, that, that resonate with them. Well, I'll tell y'all that that ain't me. I am not afraid to speak my opinion because nothing that I say is inauthentic to the things that I believe. Now, I'm going to take those two worlds, the pro-black world or the black culture world and the blurred world and mix them together, which typically doesn't really get done very much. If we're being honest here, it doesn't really get done much at all. But the thing that a lot of people don't realize is there are a lot of people who consider themselves pro-black or a lot of people who consider themselves conscious or consider themselves uh, one who has knowledge, uh, you know, individuals with knowledge of self. And a lot of them, they have a lot of um, a lot of like nerdy interest. It doesn't really get spoken about too much because you think of a certain like archetype when you think of a black nerd, you think of a certain dress, swagger, um, the you know speak interests etc cetera, etc cetera. but there but it's in within a lot of us it's it within a, a whole lot of us and it doesn't really get spoken about too much so i'm taking those two worlds and i'm combining them and i'm going to create an entire podcast to discuss the things that are inter- that are interesting from a blurred perspective but also interest interesting from a uh from a pro-black perspective and then taking those two topics and then combining them in some cases as well too so we're going to get into a little bit of it so i would say that if you are tuning into this podcast right now this is what you're going to get picture you being on my instagram colas creative if you follow me on colas creative by the way if you're if you're not that's where you should be following me right now to understand like my frame my frame of uh, of of uh of thinking at colas c o l a s 
Creative, C-R-E-A-T-I-V-E. Follow me on Instagram. Same tag on Twitter, by the way, just so you know. And I have a website, creativecolos.com, if you ever wanted to check me out there. Going back, if you look at my Instagram on Colos Creative, a lot of the topics that you hear me speak about there is the format that you'll see here. And just to give you a quick rundown, here's kind of like the idea of what I do. Mondays, I typically give updates to let everybody know, you know, what's going on throughout the week. Tuesdays, I call them Raw Truth Tuesdays, and that's when I get into a lot of black topics and I give a lot of people, you know, I give people a lot of uh, motivational quotes. And then Wednesday, I talk about actual nerdy things. Thursday, I typically talk about writing. And then Friday, I may talk about education, etc. So I'll take those things and then I'll usually uh, focus on that. And then my posts generally will center around any of the things I just spoke about, but mainly breaking down issues that I see in comics or some of my thoughts and opinions while I'm writing or journaling. And I may talk about board games a little bit because board games are my other forte um, for my brand. So if you're tuning into this podcast right now, I want you to understand that you are now watching one of the greatest pro-black blurred informative podcasts that you will ever hear okay so what I want you to do since you know this information now and you're hearing me say it tell your friends tell people who are your associates tell people who you think could identify with the type of content that I'm creating and let them know that there's about to be a lot to come because I got a lot of different topics that I um want to discuss with y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end here but I just wanted to just wish anybody who's listening right now a great day I hope you're able to do all the things that you need to do would be productive but also rest up for the rest of your day as well too and I will be coming back to y'all with new episodes and different topics for the pro black blurred kingdom podcast Hope y'all have a great day, and I'll be talking to y'all soon. Peace.